Hey, we're Emily and Danny, and we've been traveling by van for four years with our cat, Graham, and our dog, Sombrita. Last week, we had a 25-hour tow from the northern part of Chile to Santiago. We found a place to stay while our poor little home gets all patched up. Good morning! Today, we're heading over to drop off a couple more things at the apartment, and that's where I'm gonna head with Sombrita. And then after that, Danny's gonna take the van over to a shop that we talked to. I don't think that they're gonna actually be able to work on the van for maybe 10 days or nine days. After that, they said it should only be 15 days. So that's still within our month time frame, which would be perfect. It's pretty hard to find people to do work on automatic transmissions because a lot of the transmissions here are manual. That's like another thing that we're gonna check off for our next van, like no more automatic transmissions. We don't like even using an automatic transmission. Both of us prefer manual, but this is just what there was available whenever we were buying the van, so. Honestly, I'm really liking the apartment, so. If we get stuck here for two months, that's <laughs> fine. I just want to get the van somewhere safe. It's been parked on the street the last few nights, and it's been fine. In fact, parked over by our van, a couple from LA who, they just bought a van here, and they were gonna go around Chile for a while and then do the same thing in New Zealand, sell the van they bought here. So at least they were kind of watching the van. Just gonna drop off Emily and the dog at the apartment and I'll take you guys with me to drop off the van. We got a 40 minute drive ahead of us across the city of Santiago. I haven't figured out the toll system. Um, we already went through some tolls on the way here. So we're just gonna run the gauntlet. That's the quickest way. Try to get it there as fast as possible figure out the toll finds later on. Engine codes just came on. I got the scanner hooked up right here. It is the engine oil pressure sensor. There's a problem with the engine oil pump or with the sensor. It's one thing at a time, huh? Let's just get this transmission across town. A lot of times these toll systems in other countries won't read a foreign plate, so. We only have two more kilometers left but I can feel the van just shuddering a bit and every shift is kind of bump like a little bit rougher than it should be. We're pretty much here. I just want to make sure the water system is not going to freeze. Don't want to leave the heat tape on for a month. Just checking the lines that they're clear of water and empty out the gray water. It's so crazy, leaving the van this long. Okay, so I met the boss here, Francisco. Seems really nice. He knew this engine was in some other cars. He named off a couple. Um, and he's, he's guiding us in here to the bay. Oh, wow, there's the van. He's gonna pull it in later. That's insane, leaving the van. I feel I'm pretty sad about it, but you know, it's in the doctor's hands now. Ooh, it's gonna be a big job, big operation. We got an Uber waiting over here. Meet up with Emily. Hey. hey how'd it go? Oh, you know, sad. <laughs> Ooh. Let well, me just out. That looks so good. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Hey. So we got our apartment all set up here. We're super stoked to be sending one month, maybe more, we don't know yet, in this beautiful apartment with a fantastic view, amazing Wi-Fi. We, we're really stoked about that. There's a shower, which is something that our last place didn't even have. And this place is located in such a nice part of town. We have amazing restaurants all around us, and I'm just so happy to have vegan food again that is made for me by someone else. I'm impressed with your apartment picking skills. <laughs> yeah, we found this on Airbnb, kind of. Can we look at it first? You know, let's get on WhatsApp. <laughs> and so then you get out of like a huge cut for Airbnb, but more importantly, that means you can haggle the price. We got this for a thousand a month. Pretty good deal for being up on the 15th story. Yeah, we have the tallest building in South America out the window here. Getting used to the, the high rise life with the dog. Emily takes her out more early in the morning, you know, when I'm still tired. But it's like completely different than just opening the van door and letting her go and then say, hey, come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The elevators here are really, really fast. 
having her like standing and waiting for it would be so rough, I think. So big thing tomorrow it is my 28th birthday. I've been wanting this year to ski on my birthday so bad. She's been saying it for over a year. I've been saying it <laughs> since Costa Rica. Last year on my birthday we were hot and everything and every year on my birthday I'm hot. So <laughs> this year I was like, I'm gonna be cold. I love the winter, so I'm pretty stoked that I'm having winter on my birthday. Well, it's more like autumn on my birthday. This is pretty early season for skiing, but there are lifts open in El Colorado. So we're going to head up there tomorrow. Denny rented us a car. It's pretty sick that we're going to go up there to ski. Yeah, not only in June, but like the first time in the Southern Hemisphere. The weather forecast is looking like there's going to be at least one snowfall weeks or two. We'll be able to have a, a couple really great days. So there's three just an hour away, kind of all in the same valley. And then there's another one two hours away. I think that one will be better if we do that with the van because that one is a little bit farther, a little bit harder to get to. We're going to have a dog walker come. We leave the keys at the front desk so Britta can be here at home and still go out middle of the day in the middle of our time that we'll be gone. Yeah. So we're super excited about this life update. We kind of wanted to stay a little while in a nicer place just because of the doctor, the health visit, and then now that the van's gone bad, it's kind of perfect timing for us to really get over this burnout and feel a little bit better about our travels. Somebody is on her first walk with a dog walker and she's right down there. So they met another dog. It's so cute. Some Rita like looked over at me like, where's your shoes? Whenever she was leaving with the girl, but it, it seems like she really likes them. And the girl. And... Oh my boy, you like the balcony now. <laughs> You're getting used to the balcony now, my boy. Oh, what do you think, huh? Look at you right there. Okay. <laughs> craziest drive up to a ski mountain I've ever done. Drifting every corner in this thing, <laughs> but we didn't pay for the chase. <laughs> I tried to rent them, but the last second the rental guy said, oh, we don't have that. I kind of threw a fit, and uh, rightfully so. Mm -hmm. Wow, this chains yeah. really helped. Yeah, they would have helped a lot, but especially because you thought about it before. to the ski mountain oh my god and there's another one right over there that's la parva we're here at colorado ready to ski colorado <laughs> snowboard colorado yeah i've already skied colorado <laughs> skiing it in a different colorado on the left Oh my gosh, we it's so funny in the morning. You know, you get on this on the lift and the guy's like, Good morning, have a good run. And this guy said it all in Spanish. <laughs> and it's my birthday. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. No matter what the conditions are, we're gonna have a good time for your birthday. Yeah, maybe I'll even try a tow rope. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> But it's really cool being up here and seeing all the beautiful mountain snow. Let's go for our first run. Skiing in June. 
<laughs> skiing in South America. Skiing on your birthday. So crazy when all those van problems started. We were in Bolivia and I just wanted to give Emily her birthday wish of skiing <laughs> on her birthday. And we were so far from here. Yeah. And it's just, this is not how we expected to ski on Emily's birthday, but we made it. We had to get here, first of all, which involved driving on a bad transmission, getting, finding these mechanics, finding the fluids, and then we found out it was so bad, we had to figure out how to get to Santiago. We got it on that truck, as you saw, like within five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and then we had to find an apartment. We passed all those obstacles so Emily could ski on your birthday. And look at this bluebird day. Like honestly, you can see the whole city behind us. Oh my God. Only it's really epic that you can see over here La Parva. We're at Colorado. There's Parva right there. And right on the other side that we can't see a little farther up is kind of the world class one called Valle Nevado. That's even included on the Icon Pass. Do you want to hit a jump maybe? Yeah, yeah, maybe hit a little jump ski over there. Pretty insane. First time ever skiing in the Southern Hemisphere for both of us. And it's on your birthday. Wow. That is so good. We didn't know we'd be eating it out of a van here. <laughs> <laughs> this rental van, you might as well live in it. Look at this thing. <laughs> Cheers, babe. Cheers. the sky it was a good day you know it was a good day when you gotta clean snow off of your skis so you can put them away yeah, you have a good birthday oh this might be the best birthday ever so good oh i'm so happy that we got to ski we made a friend yeah we made a friend more days of ski yeah happy birthday my wife Feliz cumpleaños! Gracias, amor! Hi, buddy! This is why you can't feed animals anything because he should be running away and be scared of us so he might get hit by a car or become aggressive if... He is cute! I'm glad you came over for a picture! Look what we have found in Santiago! Oh! Oh! Vegan donuts! And look how delicious they look! Absolutely. What? What? So stoked. <laughs> That's where we were just skiing. Mmm. Wow. I want to try this tres, le tres no leches. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the bottom and the top. What? It's just beautiful. Mmm. Damn. That's super good. <laughs> it's more creamy inside than I expected, but. They don't even like write anywhere that they're vegan. The reason I know that they're vegan is because someone wrote it in the reviews. The vegan donuts are so good. They, yeah. They're just donuts. This is the creme brulee one. Oh, that one's beautiful. Look at the top. It's all caramelized and. It's got a creme brulee top. Mm. Oh, it's crispy at the top, too. Oh. Saving the best for last, aren't you? I think he's gonna take two by seat you know. Let's go. Birthday, babe. Thank you. <laughs> Which is your favorite? I like them all, honestly. I think Crumble is my favorite, though. Mm -hmm. 
maybe that one I like more. Yeah. You know my favorite? Mm -hmm. Probably creme brulee. Creme brulee is like mm -hmm. far winner, right? Mm -hmm. That is good, right? so good. I don't think I can eat more. <laughs> <laughs> Good news! The mechanic already has an update, so let's head over to the shop, see what's going on. The mechanic we found found the broken gears, which are low and reverse. We're learning a lot about Spanish car words. <laughs> Instead of getting a whole new transmission, we're going to have ours repaired, which will come with a guarantee. Automec, our mechanic, is really knowledgeable and we trust him so far. Thank you guys so much for joining me for my birthday in Chile. And if you like this video, make sure to share it and subscribe. If you want to support us a little bit more, we have a Patreon. We'll see you guys next time in this winter wonderland.